One thing right now, something that's always happened in my fucking life, is death has always missed me by an inch. <clears throat> so many times in my life, I can do nothing but praise God, man, and cherish my life because this shit is real as fuck, man. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. This is fucked up, man. This is really fucked up. Okay, listen. <clears throat> I've had people try to kill me so many, in so many different ways. I've had people try to poison me. You know, I've had, you know, people look for me to find me to fucking, you know. You know. I don't have to go into details. You know, I've had people try to fucking kill me, like, straight up. <clears throat> Certain people... <clears throat> You know, the thing is, you never know who, who's who and who's affiliated with who. And it doesn't matter if they're a fucking employee that works at an agency or in a homeless shelter or in a fucking school. It doesn't matter because these people are still people. And you'd be really fucking surprised to find out that there's a lot of criminals and a lot of people affiliated with criminals serious people, you know, uh, that work for agencies and just normal employees that you wouldn't even imagine them being involved with some shit like that, but <clears throat> that was, that's just a side note, that's just a thought to keep, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I've dodged a lot of bullets in my life from being open-minded to the possibilities of shit like that. Because other people don't even, they don't, it's just like not even a part of their, there's no fucking way to them, right? But I've seen shit in my life where I've always been saying, no, there's no fucking way. And I found out the hard way and was lucky so many times in my life, man, where I've been wrong. And, uh, it makes you a lot more aware of everything around you and, and who's around you and body language. You know, I study human psychology, you know, and I study, you know, human behavior <clears throat> because I come from the street and that's kind of a natural element that you obtain with experience in the street selling drugs. You have to fucking pay attention. You know what I mean? There's, there's a lot of fucking things going on, man, that, that you wouldn't think are going on. And that look plain is right in front of your face. Just looks like normal shit. <clears throat> and I'm not paranoid. Cars keep pulling over now. There's two cars fucking pulling over right here. It's like, what the fuck? Some fucking mad weird shit has been fucking going on, man. And I don't ever even feel like that. Like, you know, I'm just living my normal fucking life. And Sometimes things start happening around you where you're like, uh, <laughs> alright, you know? And then it starts to create a pattern where this shit is actually fucking intentional, man. I don't know how to really explain that unless you've actually experienced shit like that in your life. Other than that, you'll probably just not even be able to comprehend what the fuck I'm saying right now. I'm probably think I'm fucking psychotic and uh, paranoid and shit. But, see, the thing is, I don't give a fuck. I don't have no fear. This shit don't scare me. I don't get paranoid. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, I don't care. I just pay attention. I note it and I say, alright, cool. Suck a dick, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, basically what just happened right now is I just ate at the shelter, right? I had a bad feeling. I had a fucking bad feeling, man. Like, p certain new faces are around. Certain people are looking at me weird. I heard some chick say, that's the one right there. You know what I mean? When I was walking towards them. You know what I mean? And I used to, you know, I'd be in the fucking field, bro. And I'd be like, yo, point this fucking guy out. Yo, whoever has the, the rack in his pocket. Whoever has the fucking laptop in his backpack. Whoever has whatever... Point him out, you know what I mean, when you see him. Okay, I'll, t I'll tell you when I see him. Because people plot, eh? I know because I've been in the street all my fucking life. I used to plot on everything. Any fucking thing that I... I I'm always looking for a, something. Somebody to rob. 
something to fucking take. And I don't do cowardly shit. I'm not talking about sneaking behind your back and stealing something from you and running away like a fucking little faggot coward. I mean like fucking running up in your fucking shit, kicking your door off, punching your fucking teeth out, and fucking robbing you of your fucking face. No mask. You know what I mean? Don't do petty shit, cowardly fucking loser shit. If you're gonna do something and you're gonna rob somebody or steal something from somebody, be a fucking man and, and fucking do it real. You know what I mean? Don't be a little coward, fucking little faggot. Petty little bitch. Fucking little petty thief, you know what I mean? If you're gonna be a thief, fucking do it big. Do it right. Yo, is your dog gonna bite me? Is your dog is your dog gonna attack me? No. I don't know. I get fucking attacked by dogs all the time. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Shit happens all the fucking time. People don't know how to do things properly. Like fuck. Act like I'm stupid or something. <laughs> Anyways, people are fucked. Hold up. Anyways, you are stupid, man. Like fucking pit bulls off, fucking running around. Like the bitch clearly didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Like she was like worried. As soon as she see me, she's like, "Oh shit, my dogs are off the fucking." But you can tell she was worried that her dog was gonna fucking chop me. You know what I'm saying you don't know what I have on me. Don't make me kill your fucking dogs, man. Like you know, I was like, "Fuck." You know how many times that's happened to me? I'm just chilling. Bro, I've been attacked by fucking pit bulls, Dobermans, fucking everything, man. <laughs> like, bro, I have bad luck, man. I swear to fuck. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. It's not paranoid. It's not paranoid being scared. Like, this shit, I, the only reason why I would even feel that way or be like that is because it's already happened. This shit happens. And it makes me feel that way. And I'm like, now I know. So now I don't walk around cluelessly, unaware of the possibilities of shit. Now I'm just like, okay. You know, you got... It's a survival tactic, man. People are just stupid and fucking clueless and brain dead and no emotion. But uh, anyways, I was eating dinner at the shelter and I found a fucking huge piece of tinfoil in my mashed potatoes and I had a fucking bad feeling. I had a bad feeling right before that. And I literally remember that. Like, I was like, fuck, I got a, you know, like a weird feel. I'm looking at, you know, people are looking at me fucking weird today. Fucking this bitch comes around the corner with fucking pit bulls. Two of them. And she's grabbing them like she's fucking scared. So that's why I was like, uh, is your fucking dogs gonna attack me? Like, you dumb bitch. Hello. I'm about to jump on the bumble clock car right there. <laughs> Yo, bro. Shit gets live quick, bro. You gotta watch out, man. Don't under, don't think that things won't fucking happen. Don't be that guy. Like, oh, don't be scared, bro. Don't be fucking paranoid. Yo, bro. I watch a lot of motherfuckers talk like that and get clipped, bro. I'd rather be fucking on point than not. Fuck you looking at, fucking bitch. Fucking smash your face off. <clears throat> yeah, anyways. People are fucking weird sometimes, man. I just mind my own business. I walk down the street, you know, people literally go out of their way to fucking stare at me and give me dirty looks and fucking weird, awkward fucking vibes and shit, bro. Like, my shit's on point, bro. If you come around me with any awkward fucking weirdness, I'm gonna sense that immediately. And make you get the fuck away from me. Tell you get the fuck away from me. I'll fucking knock your fucking skull off, bro. Fuck all that shit. I used to sell fucking drugs, bro. I used to sell drugs, man. And when I'm trying to fucking break the fucking thing open and bust man off a 40 piece or something, you know what I mean? And dudes acting, you know, fucking flailing and shit. 
I tell him, yo, take fucking five steps back and stand there and don't fucking move when I'm doing my shit, bro. I don't know what the fuck you're doing or thinking when I pull a ball out. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that around me, bro. Don't act weird around me. It's all about body language and fucking... You know what I mean? Anyway, so there's a fucking huge piece of tinfoil, sharp as fuck, in the middle of my mashed potatoes and it went in my mouth. I almost fucking swallowed it and it was so sharp and pointy and hard. It would have just fucking stabbed in me in my throat and fucking cut me all the way down as my, you know, because when you something goes in there automatically, the muscles that help you swallow, that help things go down, it's automatic. Your shit just does it. You know what I mean? You can't stop that. And fucking... It would have just fucking sliced me all the way in, man. And then that shit goes into your fucking... Your stomach its cutting everything all through, man. Especially when, then when you fucking go to shit that out. And it's like stuck in your shit. It's like just cut like... Oh my god. And your shit and that out. Just blood, bro. Blood everywhere. People die like that, man. Fucking... People die from the fucking... Smallest things, man. Death is so fucking close, you have no idea. Death is so easy, man. It's easy to fucking die. It's hard to live. Real talk. So anyways... It's weird that I caught that fucking vibe. And I... Caught that, man. I'm... Bro. This type of shit happens to me... On the daily. I have to pay attention... I have to pay extra attention all the time. To people around me. To every fucking thing, man. Because there's always something... Happening that's threatening my fucking life, my safety, or people plotting on me to either t- try to rob me from my shit, or they think they're gonna fucking jump me, or they think they're gonna do something to me, which it doesn't happen. Not saying that, well, you know what? No, it can't happen because I am already fucking prepared for that at all points in time, waiting for that. And I'd rather live my life like that than get caught off guard, you know? And those are the survivors. That's why I'm 26. And a lot of fucking dudes I know that really mean fucking airheads, you know, or whatever. Like, a lot of people died. A lot of people got hurt. And I didn't. I always fucking dodged every hit, every bullet. So anyways, that shit would have killed me, bro. If you felt that, trust me, man. That would have cut me wide open all the way through, all the fucking way through until it was out. And I would have been internally bleeding. There's nothing that could fucking fix that when you swallow something like that like if you sm- swallow a piece of fucking glass whatever I'd be lucky if it didn't kill me but anyways yeah shit like that man that shit's not supposed to fucking happen bro it's not you know what I mean what, how, when, how, what, like, when does that happen are you serious bro I'm telling you man this shit is a daily fucking thing for me I'm dodging bullets left, right, and center all the fucking time, man. There's always something happening. I'm telling you, bro. Fuck. It's stressful, man. It's a stressful life when you're not just some anybody, man. Like, that all sounds arrogant and shit, but yo. A lot of people know who I am, and I don't know who the fuck they are at all. Because I don't watch people, they watch me. That's the thing. I'm an artist. My music's out there. My fucking face is out there. My videos, the shit that I do, I do it for a reason. Because if I do die, at least there's something left over for people to get to know who the fuck I was and what my where my mind state was. So they can't say, oh, he killed himself or fucking he died this way. No, no, no. They're going to be like, bro, we've been watching this guy for fucking like years and we know where his head's at. You can't play that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And I use my voice, you know? I, You know what I mean? I say all the real shit that people don't like to hear and uh, they, they don't want to fucking hear and they don't want to say. Because most people are fucking cowards. So I take all the heat and I take all the static and I take all the fucking risk for everybody all the fucking time, man. And that's why I get all types of fucked up shit happening. Like I said, man, people, I'd be walking down the street and someone just fucking swings on me, bro. You know what I mean? I don't even know think they're even going to do that. That's why I'm always watching and I'm always waiting because I've had people, like, they're just going to walk right by me and then just fucking dive at me with a fucking Superman punch and I'm duck that bitch and then, mm, clip, bah! That's what happens, bro. 
I mean, fucking test it on one. That's happened before, man. And there's, there was one time where in Hamilton, I was walking down the street, and there was this fucking big guy, and like, he was jacked. And he uh, was wearing, like, one of the wife beater things. And uh, he was on the other side of the street. And uh, I'm walking. And then he crossed this fucking street, and I'm like... Bro, I already know what that fucking is, dog. I'm like, yo, I've been in the field, dog. Like, you know what I mean, man? So I already know what time it is. So I was like, all right. I prayed to God. I did. I was like, God, please don't let this happen right now. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm sick. I'm weak. I was a bad. It was a bad day. I was. I had a warrant. You know, I had a warrant for my arrest. I'm trying to lay low. I'm like, God, no, man. I don't need this right now. Right now, right on the fucking. I think it was on. It was on Cannon or King William, one of the other. And I'm um, just walking. But yeah, man, he it looked like he was just going to walk by me. But I kept watching him at the corner of my eye. Sure enough, he jumped at me. Bam, he got my fucking shirt. And he's like, you fucking bitch. And I just went, wham! And hit him with the hardest uppercut I ever fucking gave anybody in my life, bro. Out of fear, if anything. Because I thought this guy was going to fucking devastate me, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> this guy was big, bro. Like, this guy would have fucked me up probably. And, and if I had a stand-up fight for a long time, like, he probably would have won. You know what I'm saying? But I clipped him hard. He should have just fucking threw the punch. He still would have missed. <laughs> Sucker. Anyways. Doesn't matter. Like I said. See that's the type of shit. That you wouldn't expect. There's all types of shit going on that you wouldn't expect. So don't be that fucking person. To say oh you're, you're just paranoid. Because I heard that so many times in my life. And watched everybody else get clipped. And then me just fucking walk by like. Ah, I thought I was paranoid stupid. That's what I thought. Dumbass motherfuckers. I can't stand it's stupid people. Don't get comfortable. Don't ever fucking get comfortable. It's the first mistake here. Rule number one. Don't get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, that shit really just happened, man. And you know what? I would have been uh, either dead today or tonight or tomorrow. Or in critical condition, fucking eternally bleeding, because there's no chance in fucking hell that wouldn't have cut me open, wide open, all the way in, all the way down. But anyways, just thought I'd do this this video and uh, let you guys know. I'm documenting all this shit, bro, just to show you how valuable life is, man, and how easy you can fucking die, man, just from simple shit like that. There's all types of shit going on around you, man. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh, yeah. It's weird, man. Today was a weird day, and I already had a weird feeling. And people were. It's weird. I, I'm, I'm ultra sensitive to people's uh, energy around me. And I pay attention to everything in great detail. I could tell you it's fucking 20 things that just happened right now that I paid attention to that were just fucking off. Like, that the average person is just not even fucking paying attention to at all. They don't even care. And that's okay. You can be that like that. I used to be like that, too. So you can't say nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyways. I'm escaping death all the time. All the time, and it's always been like that my whole life, and I'm so grateful. And that's all I want to say. Just thank you, Lord. You know, and uh, may my enemies continue to stay underneath me. And uh, anyone who plots death against me shall fall into their own traps. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'll tell you right now. A lot of my enemies fucking died. I've had enemies call me and tell me that. Man, I'll get into that another time, man. Do another video about that. That's fucking crazy. That's a great fucking. That's a good one, man. Wow. People have tried to kill me and then they're fucking dead three days later, and this has nothing to do with me or any order that uh, that I gave. Nothing. What the fuck is this guy staring at? That wasn't good at all. See what I mean? 
there's a, there's, yo, there's shit going on, bro. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but there was two guys walking down the street with a fucking pit bull, and uh, it looked like they had patches on, man. And I shouldn't have stared at them for that long. Fuck. Not even that, man. It's just like, you know what I mean? I'm just wondering why they're staring at me, and then I looked, and I realized what the fuck was going on. See, you know, you never know, man. Shit is fucked up, bro. I'm not looking for no problems. I'm just being aware of my surroundings and my environment, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I gotta watch my back now for the next fucking little minute. Simple shit like that in the hood will get you killed just for me looking back at them to see who they are instead of keeping my fucking head straight. That's how real it is. Just because there's so much going on, that's why I'm fucking looking around like that. But they don't give a fuck. Fucking. Yeah. Anyways. Fuck, man. Fuck. I'm stressing, bro, because there's way too much shit going on at the same fucking time. And yeah, I do believe in the fucking law of attraction. Yeah, I do have to be careful about what I'm uh, dwelling on and fucking thinking about because you can manifest that into your fucking reality, into your existence. So, but I did just say a prayer in Jesus' name, so that'll do it. I'll be okay, I'll be safe. At the end of the day. Cause that's not normal, man. Today is a fucking day, bro. The devil is out prowling, bro. It says it right in the Bible, be sober and be aware because the devil is prowling around like a fucking lion looking for its prey. It says it right in the Bible, man. And that was a fucking example right there. <sighs> Holy fuck. Good thing I'm fucking entertaining, eh? <laughs> People like to keep me uh, keep me alive and keep me around just for their own fucking entertainment, man. I would have probably been dead already. <laughs> Never know. But yeah, there's all types of shit going on. Man. People are looking at me weird. There's cars flying around. You fucking all types of weird, fucking negative, angry, fucking people angry looking at me and shit. I'm just like, remember earlier in the video? Like, what the fuck is this guy? Like, what the fuck is your problem, bro? This guy went way the fuck out of his way to just... All the fucking way. Like, like, yo, you're gonna break your neck, dog. Like, you're gonna walk into a pole. Like, pay attention. <laughs> Stop fucking grilling, man. But anyways, yeah, that's fucked up. Wait, buddy. Bomba clot, dog. Pray for me, guys. I'm like... Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? I'm a child of God, God protects me, and I do nothing but bring the truth. I don't rip people off, I don't do anything where I would deserve to uh, be hurt, other than stare at people back when they're staring at me and me not realizing maybe those people might be somebody that you don't want to be looking at, even if they're staring at you. But you don't know that. I'm just wondering why the fuck everybody's staring at me today, and I literally just said that like fucking 10 minutes in this video. So there's the proof right there, I'm not fucking, not paranoid, this shit is really happening. But you see how that shit can trap you? Even that, man. Anyways, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm just trying to live and, you know, mind my own business and do my own fucking time, so I don't see why anybody would have any issue with me. Other than me being real and talking a lot of real shit, pissing a lot of fake people off. Ha! Suck up. Anyways. I don't want to be like that. Yeah, I'm cutting this video though, still. Well, yeah, I guess my lesson in, uh, what I would like to tell people in this is be aware of your surroundings. And, uh, pay attention to what you're doing while you're doing it. Don't ever think that everything is a coincidence. That's my lesson in this video. Peace. Corey Resilient. Get in your rock. Peace to four in my master video. You know that? No. No.